Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to From the Depths with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome back to the Lightning Hoods domain. In today's episode, we have one very simple goal, which is to hopefully make a dent in the enemy forces, and hopefully capture this resource zone, although if we kill it, it's still pretty good. Whoa, it's worth 171,000 materials. Okay, we want to capture it. Screw everything I just said. We want to capture that. We really want to capture that. So, let's just get straight into the first fight. Both of the ammo barrels are now completely repaired. And so, hopefully, we should win again. Hopefully. Now, before I forget, whilst I have all of my craft currently loaded in, which I admit does make me incredibly happy, we are now going to name the airship. By popular demand, we are going to name it the Bloodfang, which is a little bit of an edgy name, I admit, but considering our affiliation with Korn, I think it makes complete sense. So, the Bloodfang airship. There we go, it's now official, the name of the airship is indeed Bloodfang. Probably one of the most edgy names I've ever named anything in this game, but it certainly does fit. And to be fair, we do have something called the Malal's Will. And of course, Malal doesn't even exist. So, let's go ahead and let's finally get into this fight, shall we? Okay, the first battle of the day, and all we're going to be able to spawn in is the Malal's Will, the Bloodfang, and the Ammo Barrel at the same time. And we are against the Ampere, or at least I believe that's how you pronounce it. I know it's named after a Frenchman, so I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. Probably butchered it, don't really care too much. We have the Electrolysis, we have the Mantis, and we have the Strider. Not that expensive this time, with the exception of the Mantis. Still should give us a fair bit of resource though, which will be very, very nice indeed. And off we go! I really shouldn't be sitting on the airship, because that laser is going to gut us. Please kill that little guy as fast as possible, that would be lovely. One gun gone. Oh, that's not as fast as I would like. Lasers attacking the Malal's will, about to take out one of the guns. Missile swarm there from the ammo barrel. Okay, just lost one of the guns, I just saw it explode. Fragments everywhere. Thanks to that thing, shield. Okay, the flyer is down. Who are you then? My god, these things have so many lasers. Also, my camera just buggered at uh -huh. camera? Why you do why do you do the thing which you do? That's the mantis now. You're the ampere and you're the strider. Okay. We're doing exceedingly well though, so I'm okay with this. Ooh, lost have I lost my main turret? Almost. Also incoming missile volley. Before we unpause, let's have a look-see at that. Just look at all those glorious fragments. You may now continue. They were definitely hurting each other then. Oh, some bad damage on the back there. Okay, we've just got through into its ammo barrels by the looks of things. There was an internal explosion. Incoming shots from our ammo, ba from our ammo barrel. I keep on stuttering with that word for some reason. The word barrel. Blue rays of death, everyone. Your green has nothing on our blue. My god, this thing can take a hit. Just die already! Your other forces have died, you may as well give up. Uh, do I want to try and capture this? No, it's already too damaged, that's a shame. Should have really stopped a bit earlier. Oh, that is gorgeous, look at that. It's like fireworks of death. Second ammo barrel has just spawned in. Can you please ignore salvage? One last enemy. For a second there, I thought friendly fire was going on between my own forces. I can't really see what's going on now, by the way. It's gone completely black. Oh, it is in fact AI dead. We We could try and capture that, but the problem is I can't get out of the Malal's will quickly. And then a torpedo finishing it off. Whoa, okay. So, what damage have we sustained? One of the ammo barrels is slightly hurt. The other one is hurt slightly more. The Malal's will took 1% damage. Um... 
Are we actually on the right difficulty? I feel a bit odd right now. Yeah, we definitely are. Um, difficulty modifier times one. Everything else is set as it is. Apparently, have lasers been nerfed? I'm really confused as... How am I surviving this well? Behold the power of aggressive wood. Oh god, that sounded so silly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving that in. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can capture this thing. I'm not entirely convinced, honestly. I really wish the manual aim in this game, when you aim the weapons, would be a little bit less auto-aimy as it is now. It's really good that the lock-on feature is there, but when you're trying to aim for a specific spot, it can be really difficult, so I can't just manually destroy the weapons. Moving out. Moving out. Well, Moving out. let's try. You go there. And let's see what happens. Oh dear god, that has missiles. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Getting ready to jump in three, two, one. Oi, there we go. Oh, cram cannon to the face. There goes one of your weapons at least. Hello, my name is Lathrix. Would you like to join the Lathrixian legions? Off. Off please, thank you. Wow, you did a really good job of knocking out those weapons, and the missiles seem to have done nothing, so I assume the anti-missiles worked as intended. Lovely. Uh, if I were an AI on a giant floating platform, where would I be? And would I become completely sentient and take over the world? Well, I found out the reason why this thing is so expensive. Look at all of those RTGs, it's absolutely ridiculous. Aha, I found it! It was literally just underneath me the entire time. Of course it was. So how do I get in? Well, there's a door. AI waiting for control of laser combiner. Apparently this thing actually has a laser weapon, but it's just not working right now. Are you broke a little bit? Oh, did we break you? I think we may have broke you. Hello there. Less kindly this time. Would you like to join the Lathrixian Legion? I'll take that as a yes. Well, I'm afraid I am going to scrap you because you have enough materials to make several more Bloodfang or even two more Malal's Will. Yeah, you are not worth surviving. Though you are fairly cool, and I may save you as a vehicle. So now I can make you in the future if I wish, but yeah, you are not going to survive. I'm very, very sorry about that, but goodbye. Your resources are going to a noble cause, the Lathrixian cause. And in its place, we are going to spawn in the Gatherer Pod from the Glau campaign. So let's just quickly add some repair tentacles on this thing so that we can go ahead and actually make it. There we go. In the dark, the gatherer pod is now online. So there we go. We can get ourselves some lovely, lovely money. I've decided we're going to build two more Bloodfang, which means now we have our own little pack of flyers. Well then, let's see if they will fare any better. Taking control. Oh dear, that's a sub. The huge enemy is a sub? The electrolysis is a sub? I didn't even know that. Last time it just got up on, on the air so quickly. Come on, it's a little bit higher and you may count as being above the water for us to fire at. Yes, you are. Excellent. Our shells are not designed for this. Thank you to the ammo barrels. Yeah, it, it can only fire sometimes when it's high enough. Incoming torpedoes absolutely everywhere. Flying into the air without a care. Absolutely lovely. What is going on? Okay, this is going to be a strange fight. I can see that now. 
Now you are what I'm very much interested in. Hello- Oh dear! Look at that thing! Its aim is a little bit off, but that's fine by me. It does have anti-missile lasers. What's happened to it? Why is it not firing? Oh, a lot of damage from underneath. Thank you to my lovely subs. Come on, take out its thrust. Okay, so our bottom turret is damaged. The back section is very much damaged. Yeah, that really did hurt. Even if it was only on for a few seconds. Shall we capture it? I mean... It's not fighting back, so I wouldn't feel cheaty about this. Yep, sure. Off. Turning off, turning off, turning off. Oh, you killed one of the ammo barrels. Or is only one spawned in? It's hard to tell. Uh, what's closest right now? Receiving. You are. Hmm. It would help if I could actually get out of the ammo barrel. There we are. I'm going to be very rich by the end of this episode. After looking at that ammo barrel, it actually took a ridiculous amount of damage from the enemy laser, amazingly. So it seems like it was more focused on the ammo barrel than our flyer. Hello, hello, hello. What have we here then? Let's have a quick look-see. Lots of RTGs, lots of engine power, and my god, is this whole section just a giant laser? Whoa, yeah, you look really frail, actually. You have, like, one layer of armor protecting this. Well, I can see why you got gutted so quickly. Okay, so, apparently they're going with the... A good offense is the best defense method, just like we are, except for apparently we're doing it slightly more aggressively. Are you the mainframe? You kind of look like a weapon controller, plus you have these two here, so... No, you are just the local weapon controller. So, where is the AI then? Now, someone told me about this trick. I knew it worked in the sandbox mode, but I didn't know it actually worked in the campaign, so thank you very much for pointing it out. If you go into this mode, which is by pressing N, you can click on an enemy or an ally, and a blue box appears, which is where the mainframes are. So it's there in the middle. Okay, I'm assuming this thing actually is meant to have multiple AI, because this seems really out of place and not really controlling anything. Well, goodbye. Welcome to the fleet. Now here's the thing, shall we repair this and use it against the enemy, or shall we scrap it? It is going to be worth a small fortune- Ah, oh, 262,000 resources though. That's two and a half Malal's will. That's so much money that I really do want this. It's, it's very cool looking. Uh, I wonder how much it costs to run, though. I mean, it is using regular engines in addition to the RTGs. And it's even using custom jets. This thing must cost an absolute fortune to run. Well, thank you for healing it. I don't know. Just look at how fast that fuel is going down. Maybe we could use it, but simply don't feed it fuel. See how effective it is just running off the RTGs. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep it, at least for the time being. We can always scrap it later. And we're going to see how effective it is if we simply don't feed it any fuel. So it becomes 100% RTG based. It, it can definitely do a lot of damage, it just... It seems so vulnerable. Says the person making ships out of wood, but still. It does look very cool, though. Maybe it isn't that bad, actually, watching the fuel go down. No, no, it definitely is. I didn't realise it was 604,000 fuel it had there. I thought it was only 60,000, and I was like, oh, it's not going down that quickly, percentage-wise. Oh, it's huge. So you have... How many laser systems? One, two, three, four. Are they connected? Are they separate? There's so much I need to check. You have a munition warning system, of course, which is the anti-missile. Well, welcome to the fleet. Prepare to be sent against your enemies. 
If anyone is in there commanding this vessel, welcome to the Lathrixian Legion. The enemy has a scorpion. This is going to be awesome. Everyone spawn in. It's time to have some fun. So, to start off the fight, we are going to be using the Blood Fang, the Scorpion, and the Ammo Barrel, and as things are destroyed, we will then spawn in the other Ammo Barrel, the Malal's Will, and then the Corn Flags. Scorpion, Electrolysis, Diode, and Diode. I really hope this works. Man, this thing sounds so angry when it's charging up. Taking command. Taking control. Weapons only. And begin. Well, you're going down. Incoming missiles from the Scorpion. Doing some reasonable damage. The laser there is slowly cutting through the enemy. And I think we're going to ram it. Yes, we are. Did I just capture that? Did I just capture... Oh my god, we actually captured it. You are kidding me. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> Welcome to the Lathrixian Legion. <laughs> Drive by capturing, yo. Yeah, the laser isn't too bad on this thing. I think, I don't know, maybe just do, maybe just, yeah, maybe it just doesn't do well against stacked armor. As you can tell, I'm a bit tired and words are hard. I'm also kind of really happy right now. Oh, and we're behind the enemy, the poor sod. Got it. There we go. Face the wrath of your own lasers. And it's focusing on something which has just de which has just deployed smoke. My God, I cannot talk today. For those who don't know, Lathrix actually does have a speech impediment, and apparently today it's really trying to rear its ugly head. You're focusing on the wrong enemy there, you really are. Oh, look at that. The laser system just went down. So apparently those missiles are EMP missiles. Oh dear. That ain't good for you, is it, sir? How much damage have we taken? None, really. Behold the power of smoke. Are its weapons offline again? I'll take that as a maybe. Shall we capture- Oh no, it's already AI dead! I didn't see because of the black paint! No! Once again, camera, stop doing this. Thank you. Oh, there's no chance we're getting there in time. Oh, we could have captured a second one. For- Oh no, yep, it's already self-destructing. I didn't see the text because of the black paint. Oh, that is so irritating. Thank you, Scorpion, for killing the Scorpion. Whoever is in charge of that Scorpion, you earn a rise and a better position in the Legion. Also, you, my dear friend, need something a little bit extra. Which I think will go here. I've got space underneath. No, we don't, because that's actually a weapon controller. whoops a daisy I'll change that back in a second. I'll check all the settings. What I was going to do... In a second, when I can actually do it. Today is the day of the derp, can you tell? AI. And finally, flag posts. There we go. Now you look beautiful. Our reputation with the white flyers is looking really bad at the moment, though, so very soon we will have to send some forces back in order to defend our butt. So I think we'll probably send some of the blood fangs and some of the corn flakes, keeping the heavy hitters to keep on attacking the lightning hoods. This is the Electrolysis, the ship we accidentally captured, so it's worth almost 30,000 resource. It has some quite odd missiles. It has these lovely IR missiles, which are torpedo missiles, so they breach the surface and then become regular missiles. Then they have something very similar, except for this one is using the laser designators. The thing is though, they don't have many warheads, so their overall damage isn't particularly high. I think they're more about definitely getting to the target over the amount of damage they do, which is completely fine, it's just not something I would personally choose, but that's what I do love about From the Depths. Everyone has their own way of doing things. There's me. 
there's the AI, and it's really, really compact. Every single room is being used to absolute capacity. And maybe that's why we're doing so well. The Lightning Hoods seem to be very cramped when it comes to their armor and their functional components. So with us using heat shells and such, maybe we're just gutting rooms and that's why they're going down so quickly. All of those fragments going through the armor is just eradicating the entire room before hitting another piece of armor. So there's nothing really stopping them. We, on the other hand, since we're building out of wood, have layers upon layers, and then we have gaps, and then we have more layers, which may be incredibly resistant to laser damage. I don't really know, but that's my only theory right now, because we are doing way better than expected. Am I going to keep this or not, though? It is worth almost 30,000 resources. I think I will keep it, and I'm going to use it as a defender against the White Flyers. Which is going to be really weird for them when they attack us. They are going to be there to defend the Lightning Hoods from the marauding Lathraxian Legion, only to be attacked by the Lightning Hood ships themselves. I like that. That's not the main fortress, is it? No, surely not. It is one of their fortresses, but I don't think it's their main one. Normally it's a bit bigger than that, right? You can't only own this tiny little bit of land. Um, well I guess maybe you could. I don't really know. And into battle we go against the next enemy, which is the Megawatt and the Diode. We are using only the Malal's Will and the Scorpion. Let's see how this goes. Consider this a family reunion for the Lightning Hoods. The back section is now gone thanks to our lasers. And then here comes the Blue Beam of Death. Devouring all in its wake. The main gun missing three times. Well done. There we go. Finally hitting it. Okay, stop. Turning off. Turning off. Can we capture this? Oh, it would have been so good if one of those missiles actually hit that flyer then. Because it would be game over. Okay, let's have a quick look-see. Please don't be destroying yourself. I just saw... No, you were already AI dead. I told you to stop. And I can't get out of here anyway. Well, bugger. Turns out torpedoes were fired at some point, and they killed it. Nice laser damage there. I've just realized, look at this thing's engine power. 111,000 it peaks at. No, actually higher than that. Do you have a steam engine as well? Or are your regular engines overheating? I'm assuming your regular engines are simply overheating. I also love how this thing skims. The laser water skimmer. I keep on looking at this craft and trying to figure out how I killed it so quickly, and it turns out there's actually a lot of light alloy pretty much everywhere on this craft. But once again, just one layer of armor protecting pretty much everything. And this, of course, isn't a criticism. Clearly, it has to be at least somewhat light to do the whole water skimming thing, and the damage is very impressive. I can just see this thing getting destroyed, though, so I become more and more tempted to simply sell it. But it does look amazing. I've just lured out the force which was defending the fortress, which I'm quickly beginning to think is the end fortress, since I'm seeing nothing else to indicate otherwise. And now, we are going to kill this force with the Malal's Will and the Scorpion, and against us we have the Crossbolt and the Diode. I've just thought, off camera after this episode, I think I am going to convert the Scorpion into pure wood. It's going to be just like the rest of our forces, I'm going to paint it up, add some more flags, and make it truly Lathrixian. Into the battle itself, now that it's nice and light once again, and we have the two enemies. The first of which is the Diode, one of the most adorable flyers of all time, which really reminds me of an ornate Pac-Man frog, maybe because I used to have a pet one of those, or a very, very angry pancake. One of the two, a frog or a pancake, things you normally don't combine in real life. Also, we have the Crossbolt, so... It looks like it's using a continuous laser. It has a broadside of lasers, some anti-missile stuff, and... Is that it? Hmm, are you meant to be a sub or a regular boat? I can't quite tell. Either way, though, let's get straight into the fight. 
our anti-missile systems just about dealing with those missiles. And the lies are completely crippling the front section already. The mine gun has been removed thanks to the Scorpion. And then here comes the blue ray of death. The diode is being chased by EMP missiles, completely turning it off before detonating it. And down you go. Well, kind of up you go, honestly. Either way, you're dead. Goodbye, Crossbolt. You fought valiantly and did a little bit of damage. Man, the Scorpion's damage is actually really, really good. I underestimated that massively. Maybe we will build a refinery and start feeding it fuel, because I don't want this to stop. It's really fun to watch. Oh, poor little diode. Please stop attacking Salvage. You too. Are we done? Did we win? Flying torpedoes? Flying torpedoes. And the battle is finished. Oh, wonderful. Once again, just checking. Yeah, definitely regular difficulty. I don't know why, I just feel like it's easier than the last time I fought them. Maybe I've got better at building, who knows. But, but to be fair, I also tested the Lightning Hoods about two, three months ago, I think? When I was doing one of the other campaigns, I decided to spawn in a couple of them. I can't remember which now, some of the smaller ones though. And they gave me a lot of trouble. Also, this hatch is so high you can't actually jump out of it. There we go. Kinda have to do a bit of parkour on the doors. And by doors, I mean chairs. Well, with all that out of the way, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's episode. So today has gone so much better than I expected. We have a brand new ship, which is tearing apart the enemy. We have a new resource zone, and we have captured most of the Lightning Hoods territory. And now, by the looks of things, we're about to kill the Lightning Hoods themselves already. I expected this to take far longer, but I'm very happy we're doing it so quickly, because all this time we're fighting the Lightning Hoods, all of the other factions are reinforcing their tiles, so we do need to be a little bit quick. I already feel like we're not being as fast as we could be, I've already been in the campaign now in excess of 11 hours, and the part-time is, I believe, 40 hours? So... I don't know how it's going to go, especially since we are on times 2 reinforcement speed. That's why some of the tiles are so huge already. And if we're unlucky enough, we may still end up at war with the White Flyers. Although, we may, just may, be able to skirt that. It's going to be so close, and it depends on how much they hate us after we kill the enemy fortress. So, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that From the Depths is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. In the next episode, we kill the Lightning Hoods.